I'm Quam McKenzie. I'm one of the medical directors at the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health. We don't like things that are unpredictable and we don't like being out of control. And congestion puts us out of control and it's unpredictable and that really stresses us. If you, at least two times a week, are exposed to congestion, you've got three times the rate of anxiety, 50% increase in your risk of depression, and you're also 50% more likely to be divorced. If you do what they call active commuting, you do more exercise and you are happier as well. You're less stressed. You are less likely to have diabetes. You are less likely to have high blood pressure and you're less likely to have anxiety and depression. So there's active commuting. But if you have to drive, then you have to think about what you can do in the car. Some people have shown that if you listen to audio books, it actually works better, not surprisingly, than if you listen to rock music, because listening to rock music while you're stressed is probably not the best thing. The other thing it's difficult to do, don't react to dumb drivers. They're in a position where they are exactly as stressed as you are, but they have less control. So dumb drivers do dumb things, they will do dumb things. It isn't personal, it's nothing to do with you. It's all about the fact that they're in a difficult position. So don't react to dumb drivers.